Hey guys, Sodra here from Carcraft Auto Detailing in Melbourne. Today's video is a follow up on the Audi S3 video, which some of you may have seen, as well as a look at an Audi SQ5 I previously detailed, discussing and showing the results during the first maintenance washes after correcting and coating the paint. I'll just give you some quick information on the Audi SQ5, which I detailed a week before the S3, but didn't film the process. It basically went through a similar decontamination, correction and protection phase as the Audi A3, but with a couple of differences in relation to the products and coating used. Now just like the previous video on the Audi S3, further testing and assessing results will be a large part of these follow-up maintenance washes, and I'll hopefully continue to share the results and updates in future and upcoming videos. As I briefly covered in the previous video, these product and testing details are also based on things like testing how these vehicles and their coatings hold up with just a single coating layer, no top sealants and a little neglect on the maintenance side of things. Hence, it's been a month with the cars sitting outside before even giving them a wash. I know it may seem wrong not to maintain these cars better for most detailing people watching this video, but for me it's a great way to assess these cars and products in the hands of the general public who aren't necessarily into detailing and aren't always going to apply these products correctly or maintain their cars adequately to get the most longevity out of a freshly corrected and protected vehicle. Now the rims on the SQ5 were just cleaned and not coated or protected basically for testing purposes so a direct comparison could be made between these unprotected rims and the protected ones on the Audi S3. Also, the testing taking place is with Concours Purge Wheel Cleaner, and what I'm trying to see and test is the difference between spraying the cleaner on the dirty rims and pressure rinsing it down, to then firstly rinsing the rim and then spraying the cleaner on the rim and once again rinsing it down, to working the rim with wheel brushes before rinsing, and then comparing how this whole process differs on using it on the coated rims, which I'll be trying shortly on the Audi S3. But as far as the unprotected rims go, Perch seems to work better applying it to the dirty rims as opposed to the wet rims, as the standing water dilution effect is a greater issue than removing a portion of the wheel grime beforehand. As far as brake dust and dirt removal goes, it really is pretty impressive that a month after cleaning these rims and not adding any protection, a good 90% of the grime can be removed with a touchless process, but the use of brushes is still needed to get that last 10%. Now this Q5 was actually coated with Sea Quartz UK, so I'm going to use CarPro Reset as the snow foam and try to stick to CarPro's lineup for maintenance washers. And since the Audi A3 was coated in Concourse Nova Pro, I'm also going to try and stick to the Concourse products for maintaining their car as a comparison. But after the first snow foam and hand wash, it's pretty clear to see that the water is behaving quite well, and the surface tension is quite tight and slick to the touch. Now as I've stated in the past, sea quartz, and really any layerable coating, does both behave better and last longer with a second or third coat. So although a single layer is still quite good, I know for a fact that it could be better. The other thing is that a top layer sealant like CarPro Reset or Gliss will dramatically improve the water behavior as well as the long-term durability, which is actually hard on my part not to apply as I'm just so tempted to do so. But nonetheless, I'm quite happy with how it's going a month down the track and I'll be keen to see how it progresses from here.
So on to the Audi S3. Now, I'm not sure how well you can pick it up on the footage, but there's a massive difference in just applying purge to these rims, as the wheel cleaner is actually beading on top of the pyro wheel coating after it's sprayed on, which is really fantastic to see. But the important difference is to see just how effortlessly it cleans the rims to a point that there was just zero need to use any brushes, as all four rims were pretty much 100% clean after a touchless and spray down rinse process. I'll also let you know that without the use of purge and just pressure rinsing the rims down, I got about 80 to 90% of the grime off. And this is after three weeks of use on a daily driver. So onto the pre-washed snow foam. Immediately I can see another large difference in how the snow foam is behaving on the paint. With quite an obvious hydrophobic repelling effect as it separates and looks like an almost bubbling effect which is really a great indication that the surface is very tight and slick. Now even before the hand wash stage, the water behaviour is simply impressive. And the hand wash just seems like a trivial process as the dirt has all but gone with a simple foam and rinse. Which again, I'll remind you, is three weeks later on on a daily driver parked outside. Now although you may not believe it, a second or third coat of Novo Pro would really have taken this water behaviour and finish to the next level, as well as applying Nova Jet as the top layer sealant which is pleasantly insane to see, and I can hopefully show you that in the future. It really wasn't my intention to compare a pro version coating like Nova Pro to a general public version coating like Sequartz UK, as it's not a fair comparison. But it's just what I used on these last two cars on these product and technique testing details. A much fairer comparison would be Nova Pro with Sequartz Professional or Finest, which I can also tell you are exceptional coatings that once again work so much better when they're layered. But in any case, I do hope this video update was interesting and informative to view. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe to show your support for this channel and I'll see you in the next video.